Hi, my name is Mark Solm, and I'm a member of the BlackBerry Developer Relations team. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the BlackBerry Messenger social platform and explain how you can use it to allow your application to spread virally. The BBM social platform offers a number of benefits to application developers. You increase discoverability by allowing your users to call attention to your application within their BBM community, which can make your application go viral. You can also increase engagement of your application by adding a social aspect where users can connect with their friends. All this can lead to more money in your pocket. You have many language options for integrating with BBM on BlackBerry 10. We provide BBM social platform APIs for C, C++, WebWorks, and Adobe Air. Let's take a look at the features of the BBM social platform that you can integrate into your application. You can use it to allow your users to invite their BBM contacts to download your application, update the user's BBM profile to change their avatar image, personal message, or status. You can create application profile boxes and access the BBM contacts that also have your application installed. The invocation framework can invoke the BBM client for a number of tasks, like inviting people to BBM. You can also use it to start a chat with a single contact, multiple contacts, or a BBM group. It can also be used to share content over BBM, which can be text in a chat, an image, or any type of file. Let me show you some sample applications that use these features. The sample applications I'm going to demo are all available to download at github.com blackberry. The first one I'm going to show you is BBM invite to download. The first thing that happens is the application connects to BBM. Once that's complete, I can press the Invite to Download button, which brings up a contact picker where I can either type the name of a contact, email address, or BlackBerry pin, or I can click on the plus button to choose a contact from my BBM contact list. After I've chosen the contacts I want to send the invite to, I click Send. The recipient receives a message with, with buttons that open BlackBerry World to the application page. Note that if the application is not yet available on BlackBerry World, that button will be disabled. The next feature I'm going to demo is accessing and updating a user's BBM profile using the BBM profile sample. The first screen shown in the sample lists all the information you can access within the user's profile. Now I'm going to update the profile by creating a new personal message. When I click the Save button, I'm prompted to confirm that change. This prompt is triggered from the API call to ensure that the user is aware of the change. Now I click OK to confirm the update. I've switched to the device of one of my BBM contacts and opened up BBM. When I view updates, I see the personal message that I just set. Note the last line says, updated minutes ago by BBM profile. This shows the application that posted the message. Clicking on that message either launches the application if it's installed or opens BlackBerry World to the application's page, assuming that the application is available in BlackBerry World. The use of personal message updates is one of the best ways to enable viral distribution of your application. It's best to use messages that describe an action taken in your application to get people interested. So instead of basic updates like I just installed application XYZ, use I'm listening to radio station ABC on application XYZ. Profile boxes are another method you can use for viral app discovery. Here in the BBM client, I'm opening up my BBM profile. I can also view the same information for any of my BBM contacts. Now I click on the Apps tab and I can see a list of all BBM connected applications this contact has installed. Your application will be listed here after it connects to BBM. But you can go one step further. Now I'm switching to the BBM Profile Box sample application and I'm going to create a new profile box. A profile box is made up of image and text. I click on Save to create the profile box. Let's go back to the BBM client. Here you can see there's an updated BBM profile box. I expand this list and see the entry I just created. You can display a maximum of three profile boxes for each application. When you add the fourth entry, the oldest one is removed. Clicking on these will launch the application if it's installed or open its page to BlackBerry World if it's not. The final demo I'm going to show demonstrates a few of the ways you can invoke the BBM client. The first method I'm going to show is to share text in a BBM chat. After choosing that option, I'm prompted to select a BBM contact. 
This contact picker screen is provided for you, no coding required. I click on a contact and a chat card appears with the text supplied by the app. This is some new text, pre-populated in the chat window. You can see this is a card in my application because I can peek back and see my app. Minimizing the app shows that's the only application running. Text can also be shared with BBM groups. I can also open up a blank chat card to a specific contact or multiple contacts that are specified in the application. Instead of text, images and files can be shared. I click on the share image over BBM and I'm once again prompted to choose my BBM contact. I pick my contact and the chat card appears with the image ready to send. The workflow for sending a file looks the same. Now if I open up the BBM client, you'll see the chat is also available there. Thank you for joining me to learn more about the BBM social platform. You can reach out to me using our BlackBerry developer forums or on Twitter at BlackBerryDev. For more information, visit developer.blackberry.com bbm.